Hi, this is Josh Hines. I want to take just a minute to talk to you a little bit about a lesson from my book, which actually this is just a manuscript from it. Hopefully you can see it. It's coming out called It's Your Life Live Big. Not available now but at the time of recording this video, but depending on when you're watching the video, it probably will be available and it'll be in bookstores and different things like that through the site joshhines.com. But I want to talk about a lesson that, well, a, a, a strategy in particular from one of the lessons in the book, which is really a, a combination of various important, you know, personal and professional lessons in the book that I talk about called It's Your Life, Live Big. This one in particular is from the section on how to build win-win relationships. And, and here, really, this is more of in terms of how to develop pro professional working relationships. And you can kind of look at it as a little sales strategy. I think most of the people that are not particularly effective necessarily or, or maybe struggle a little bit where they don't necessarily have to when they're getting the word out about their product or service is that let's say in a typical situation and this goes whether you're meeting somebody in person or whether you're just picking up the phone and calling somebody to introduce yourself most of the time it kinda goes like this right hi can I speak to so-and-so person comes on the phone hi I'd like to introduce myself my name's Josh Hines I do presentations and also, you know, work with different organizations in consulting, and then it beco quickly becomes, I do this, I do that, I do this, hey, I'd like to work with you, I'd like to learn how I can work with you. This is what I do, and what happens is it becomes the me show, the me show. The problem with that is, one, the other person very quickly, very quickly, says to themselves and processes in their mind, this is somebody who really has their own interest in mind, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with communicating what's important to you. The problem is, though, guess what? They feel the same way. So immediately you got this adversarial kind of thing. And it's not that they're necessarily aggravated or mad, but their time's important. So automatically they're kind of shutting down. So a simple little strategy to avoid that is when you make that first connection, start asking questions about them and genuinely sit back and listen to what they tell you. Ask them what's important. One of the things you could say is you could just start out by saying, you know, say it was just a, a, a cold sort of meeting, and whether this goes whether the phone or you just met somebody, you could say, you know, take a second just to introduce themselves. I could say, hi, I'm Josh Hines, and I'm a, you know, a speaker and consultant and author. Tell me a little bit about yourself, and then and then you're listening, and then basically you could go right into it. You could say, you know, I like to try to try to build build relationships in my business, and one of the ways that I do that is when I'm out in the marketplace meeting people, just like I met you, John, or just like I met you, Sue, I like to keep my eyes peeled for people that might have a need for your product or service. So again, if I understand what you're telling me, and then I'm going to go back and just kind of reiterate what it is they told me, and I'm going to have actually taken notes because I'm not just paying lip service here. This is something I'm really going to do as I meet people. And then I'll explain to them, I'll say, this may sound very simple, but over time, I've come to realize that when I actually look out for people that I've met and people that I would like to do business with, if I've got their best need, need in mind, and if I'm really looking out for them, and, and whether it be sources of business or in some way that'll help them, I find out that when they have a need for what I have to offer, when they have a need maybe for some help with some training or or you know, some type of consulting, they're going to reach back out to me naturally because I'm going to have what I call mind share. And, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, so that's really where I'm coming from. So, again, I'm going to go out in the marketplace and I'm going to be kind of keeping my eyes open for you. If you don't mind, I'd like to have your business card and, and of course, side note, that's if you don't already have it, just say, I'm going to take, and if you do, you just say, I'm going to take your card and information, and I'm going to really send some people your way as I'm able to. You know, it's a pleasure to meet you. If you don't mind, I'd like to keep in touch. And that's it. It's very low key. There's no high pressure. You're not making any promises. You're, everything you say, you're going to do. And then what happens is every single time as you repeat that with people, you have a much different sort of feel about yourself. People feel better, you feel better because it's easier to connect with and meet people because you have their best interest in mind. They feel better about you because every time that they see you and talk to you going forward, they're thinking, this is the person who did it a little different. This is the person that got out of the me, 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 me mode and made it about we, 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 we. 
them first, which of course creates a relationship together and then it's about we. So it's a, if I will, you're focused on a win-win relationship. Um, this is a little side note. One of the things that I do when I'm, when I'm meeting, say, a col with different colleagues or somebody that I want to build a relationship with, some type of professional relationship with, a lot of people will say, well, that's, that's great to do, but, but how do you do it, for example, when you're wanting to connect with a colleague or somebody that you, you know, want to create a relationship with? In my, ex in my example, one of the things that I'll do is I have a, the number of different resources that I have. One of, some of them are various personal development sites. So a perfect example for me, instead of just calling up and saying, I'm just thinking, well, you know, I'd like to get to know this person better, so I'm going to just contact them and say, hey, how can we do business together? Or, or, you know, just put it right out there. Instead, I'll, I'll just go be right honest with them. I'll say, hey, you know, I, I'm a fan of your work. This is what I have, for example, let's use the example of the GetMotivation.com site. I'll say, you know, I have this personal development resource called GetMotivation.com, and if you'd like to, please don't feel any pressure, but if you'd like to, I would love to share your work with our audience. And of course, it's a straight benefit to them. And it's going to benefit me because that's our resource, but it's going to benefit them because they're going to be able to get their message out to an audience of people that's hungry for what it is that they do. But it's also a benefit for everybody involved, including the people that visit the site. So that's a simple, one of the simple ways that I, and I've actually done that since I began, even back when it was just a hobby, the business that I do, first started this site. Um, that's how I've been able to build connections, strong connections in my industry. And as a result, I don't even have to ask for it. This is not me bragging at all. This is something anybody can do. I don't even have to ask for help. So like right now, as we're coming out at the time of this recording, coming out on the launch of the book, and again, this is the manuscript. It's an actual book that will be in bookstores. But as we you know, come to the launch of the Live Big, I have an assistant who's actually reaching out to colleagues that I've known over the years to help get the word out about it. Um, on an official launch we're going to do. And it's just been really, really encouraged um, and just been very encouraging to see the people that are willing to help and really not even having to really ask or, or I mean, we, I'm asking, but it's a real low key, key way we're asking and we don't expect anything and people are really just jumping on board wanting to help. And I have to believe that that's because it's all those years before and time before where I really wanted to help people. So again, I'm not saying that in any way to toot my own horn. Please don't think that. I want you, instead, I want you to hear it. I want you to say that no matter where it is that you are professionally, and even if you're at the peak where you think you are, you can always advance by focusing on creating win-win relationships. Again, hope this lesson's been helpful to you. And I want to leave you with the old thought. Remember, it's your life. Live big.